It might sound like something out of a movie, but unfortunately, it also happened in real life. Recently, two police officers in an Atlanta suburb made headlines for using a coin flip app to determine whether a driver would be arrested for reckless driving. The officers, Courtney Brown and Christy Wilson, were caught on body camera video joking about using the app to decide the driver's fate. The incident has sparked outrage and calls for reform within the police department. In this video, we'll dive deeper into the story and find out what actually happened. So let's get into it right now. On April 7th, Officer Courtney Brown of the Roswell Police Department pulled over a woman named Sarah Webb for driving over 80 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. Brown called her colleague Officer Christy Wilson to the scene for backup. They discussed the possibility of arresting Webb for reckless driving, and that's when things took a turn for the absurd. On the body camera footage, the officers can be heard discussing various options for punishment. At one point, Officer Wilson suggests they use a coin flip app to decide whether to arrest Webb or not. Brown agrees, and after some discussion, they agree that heads means arrest and tails means let her go. The coin is flipped, and it lands on tails. However, despite the outcome of the coin toss, Officer Brown proceeds to arrest Sarah Webb for reckless driving. She was taken to jail and booked, all because of a coin flip. The story gets even more outrageous when you hear what the officers had to say about the incident. They can be heard on the body camera footage joking about the situation, saying things like, this is tails right, and I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. This behavior is completely unprofessional and disrespectful to the seriousness of their job as law enforcement officers. Webb spent the night in jail and was charged with reckless driving and speeding. However, the story only came to light because of Sarah Webb herself. She contacted a local news station and shared the footage with them. When her lawyer obtained the body camera footage of the incident, he was shocked to see the officers discussing a coin flip. He shared the footage to the prosecutor who dropped the charges against Webb. The local news station WSB-TV obtained the footage and aired a story about it. The story quickly went viral and people all over the country were outraged. It's still a matter of concern as the decision to arrest someone should not be taken lightly and the use of a coin flip app is not a professional and acceptable way to make decisions. The officers' decision to use a coin flip to determine someone's faith also shows how some police officers trivialized their decision-making process. The Roswell Police Department quickly launched an internal investigation into the matter. Police Chief Rusty Grant stated that he was appalled by the officers' behavior and that he had much higher expectations for the department. The two officers involved were placed on administrative leave pending the investigation and eventually resigned from the department. The incident has raised a number of concerns about police conduct and decision-making. Some people have criticized the officers for treating a serious matter as a game and for making a decision based on chance. Others have pointed out that the incident highlights the lack of training and guidance that some police officers receive when it comes to making decisions in the field. There are also concerns about racial bias and discrimination, as studies have shown that people of color are more likely to be arrested and charged than white people for the same offenses. The incident sparked a national conversation about police reform and the need for accountability and transparency. In conclusion, the incident raised concerns about the decision-making process of law enforcement officers. It's crucial for police departments to prioritize transparency and accountability in their operations and for officers to uphold their duty to protect and serve their communities with integrity and fairness. And that does it for this video. If you enjoyed watching it, then please consider pressing that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Do check out some of our other videos while you're at it and we'll see you back here again with another video. Bye for now. Well, just found bent grass looking for you because it says 92 on bent grass near the post office.